Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you've had a great week and I hope you can find some time to join me this afternoon. If not, thank you for watching in the replay. I watch most of my Facebook Live videos in replay. It's hard to catch people live. All right, I'm gonna find us over here, make sure I'm in the right group, open it up so I can see everybody's comments. I see a couple people joining. You know, I've been having some internet issues, so hopefully that doesn't happen today. I am not seeing myself pop up here, but I can see some of you are joining. Hi guys. Hi, Christine. All right, please, please stand by while I try to fix my technical difficulties. You know, Facebook just lately has just been very, aha has been very, um, I don't know, just problematic. All right, I can see now. Let's see if I can get this adjusted. Now I can see you guys. Hi, everybody. Wow, thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, candy cane season is my product of the week. Here it is, super cute. Hope you were with me on Tuesday. Today I've got three more projects and I keep finding candy cane and peppermint things and I keep wanting to make more projects, but I've got to move on to something different next week or we're gonna all be sick of candy canes. <laughs> all right, so if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do three projects all with the same um, stamp set typically. And I type up a PDF for those projects that looks just like this. And my computer got super fancy this week and printed a double-sided. Don't know how that happened and I don't know how to make it stop happening. Um, <laughs> and so it's two pages, it's a PDF. You can get it over at pinkbuckaroo.com. I'll put the link here um, when I'm done. If Facebook lets me, they've been very, I don't know. Anyway, I won't talk bad about Facebook. Um, so it's there, it has all the products that I use on each project, as well as the measurements. Just like last week, we've got lots of measurements um, this week that you're gonna need. Ooh, I forgot to plug in my microphone. Okay, let's see if it works. But you're gonna need that PDF to make any of these projects today, specifically for the measurements. Okay, tell me if you guys can't hear me. Um, also on here is the host code right here and right here. The host code is um, if you'd like to order um, this weekend or Monday, I'm going to send you all three make and takes for free. I send you a little packet. Let me show you last week's. Looks like this has everything you need in there um, to make the three projects. So that, if you want this, you gotta use the host code by Monday at midnight. Otherwise, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get the Stampin' Rewards and I'd rather you get the Stampin' Rewards. Um, and I will still send this to you. Any orders over $150 between now and midnight, we'll get them too. Hi, Belinda. Um, so anyways, that's how Facebook Friday goes. Three Megan takes, PDF free for everybody. Make and takes free for anybody who orders minimum $30 between now and Monday at midnight. I also do lots of giveaways. So would you guys like to see who won the prizes for last week? Um, I have three winners. Let's see. I have two winners from last week. Hi, Joy. And one from Tuesday. You guys, I have to tell you, I know I've told you before, but behind you are my windows to the front of my house. And it is really dark outside. <laughs> it seems really weird because I've got these lights on and I just feel like I'm glowing and like the whole neighborhood can probably see the light coming from my windows. It's rainy and just yucky here. So it's kind of dark, not typical for here. Anyways, I just had to share that with you in case you see my eyes roaming, it's very strange. Okay, so a prize. Um, on Tuesday, I asked um, if anybody would share the video. I would draw a name for the friendly expressions, and lots of you shared that video. Thank you. The random winner is Llewellyn Watts. So Llewellyn, please message me. You have two weeks to claim your prize. I will get that in the mail to you as soon as I hear from you. Then I have this uh, for Friday, I give away two prizes. Um, you can share the video to get entered on Facebook, just share it wherever. And then you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and uh, 
At the bottom of today's post, there's a widget where you can enter your information. Today I'm asking you what your favorite stamp set is, so be prepared. <laughs> Don't worry, there's no right answer. It's just an extra entry into the drawing. Um, so you can win a prize that way um, or by sharing. So last week's winners for that are Karen Christensen. She's winning the I'll Be Home and the Enamel Dots. Karen, please message me, email me, send me a smoke signal. Let me know your address so I can get those out to you, okay? And the last winter winner from last week is Carol Scouf. Carol, I hope I said your name right. Carol Scalf, and I know it's backwards. All right, she won that fun stamp set with the enamel dots also. All right, so those three ladies, please email me or message me your address so I can get those out. This week, I've decided to give away my paper pumpkins from November. Um, I just am not gonna get to them, so I would like to share them, share the wealth. This is what they looked like. If you didn't know, they sold out. There were no refill kits. And Paper Pumpkin is so popular that they're not even taking new subscribers this month. It's that good. Um, January, you can start subscribing again. But this one sold out. December is totally, completely sold out. No new subscribers. Um, so I thought this might be a good prize for some of you who didn't get it or who maybe want a second one because you loved it so much. So it looks like this has a little stamp set, a really good stamp set and an ink spot cherry cobbler, perfect Christmas color. And it comes in this super adorable box like this. I've got two of these to give away. So you can um, get it by uh, sharing. Oh, she says, Eins, I hope I'm saying your name right, is saying Paper Pumpkin knocked it out of the park with that one. I know, it's a good one. They keep getting better and better, I think. Every month, I love it. Um, so, Share the video here on Facebook or um, go over to my blog and scroll down and enter on today's post. All right, so those are the prizes for this week. I want to remind you guys I posted this morning that if you would like a gift certificate for stamping up products from maybe your husband, your mom, your sister, whoever, share my information with them because I make my own little gift, gift certificates. I can mail them and I can email them. I've already sent several out. Um, these are good towards if you wanna order uh, Stampin' Up! products or if you wanna take one of my classes or bingo or something. Um, it's just whatever, maybe it's $100 with me, however you wanna spend it. So um, feel free to send my info to whoever plays Santa for you. Or if you have a mom or a sister or a girlfriend or who, who knows, brother, who, whoever likes to craft, you can get them one as well. Okay, last announcement, and then we're gonna get stamping. My, I put it all in a basket, let's see if I can hold it up. Frosted Florals class, here it is. Look at that paper, that's the star of the show. This class, the deadline to register, hi Trisha, is December 13th, which is next. Thursday. So this is the last time I'm going to share this with you on live. If you'd like to see these projects, I uploaded a video twice actually yesterday over on Facebook. Um, and you and it's on my YouTube too and on my blog actually. You can see exactly what the projects are. Um, it comes with the paper, the ribbon, and half a pack of the enamel droplets. Um, and then Rhonda, my friend Rhonda Wade, has a class called uh, the little elephant class and we're doing them together they ship together if you want both of them and if you get both of them you actually get a host set this one for free thrown in there with both your classes all right now it's pouring down rain so who knows if you guys can even hear me anymore weird things happen when it starts to storm around here okay I think we are ready to turn the camera around. Don't forget, make and takes for free with a $30 minimum order by Monday and get your PDF because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a lot of measurements today, a lot of them. And uh, you don't wanna have to write them down on a sticky note because I did that last week when I was making these projects and I lost all the sticky notes. And then I had to completely figure it out all over again. So don't write your measurements on a sticky note like me. Okay, go get that PDF. All right, I'm going to turn you around. So give me just a second. Everybody cross your fingers and your toes that I, so that I don't hang up. You know, like it's a phone call. If I hang up on you guys, I'll start over. Hopefully that microphone is still working. I saw a really cool gadget last night. It's a, um, it's like a, a mount for your phone, 
that you can use and you can swivel it and stuff with a remote. And I'm kind of thinking I might need that. I don't know. It might work for this. We'll see. Okay, let's get started. Here is what we're making today. I'm off centered and I don't like it. I thought I was in the right place. So let me, let me, uh, I have all this <laughs> paper taped down. Um, let me move it over just a tad if I can. So this week, candy cane season. How many of you ordered candy cane season already? Because it's retiring, which means it'll be gone. Um, when this cat holiday catalog is gone, it'll be gone. Why do I do this to myself? And right now the punch is on sale, but the stamp set is not on sale. And I think if my mathematical calculations were correct last night, if you buy the punch by itself and the stamp by, the by yourself, you actually save more money than buying the bundled price. Because when we have bundles, like I have listed on here as a bundle, you, you always save. 10%. So it's a little bit lower if you buy the punch and the stamp by itself. I believe my math was right. Um, so take a look at that if you haven't ordered it already. It's a great one. It's very graphic, no coloring involved, big and bold, and it has a punch. Raise your hand if you like punches. Me, I'm raising my hand. We all love a punch. So I couldn't wait to use it. I really was trying to hold out till December, which I did, because you know, if I do all my fun Christmas projects when that holiday catalog comes out in September, what in the world would we do in December? It would be very difficult. All right, so let's get started. This is the little skinny milk carton is what I'm calling it. Um, I actually adapted it from somebody else I saw online. It's a little bit different. Inside, now remember I, was shopping and stocking um, Target and Bath and Body Works and Walmart trying to find all kinds of peppermint stuff. Inside are two peppermint hot cocos. Not coffee, because I don't like coffee, you guys. So I have to find things that I like sometimes too. But my daughter loves hot chocolate and she loves peppermint. So when I saw that, I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna buy the box of them for sure. So two of them will fit in here. Uh, but you don't have to put two K-Cut pods in here. You could put candy. And um, I thought about buying the Candy Cane Hershey Kisses, but if I had brought those into this house and only put about, I don't know, 10 in this box, you know what would happen to the rest. They would get eaten by me, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going with the, the hot chocolate. All right, so it is pretty simple to make. Um, you're gonna need your Simply Scored, and my colors are lovely, I told you guys this on Tuesday if you watched, Lovely Lipstick and Pool Party slash Coastal Cabana were my inspiration for all of these projects, they were my color, and it's, I'll show you when we get to the second project, that's where I got my color ideas. Okay, so you're gonna need to start with a piece of Lovely Lipstick cardstock that measures eight by eight and a half, so it's almost a square, but it's not, so make sure that when you get it up here, you are starting with the long side and you make sure the long measurements are on the long side, okay? So on the long side, we're just gonna do two, four, six, and eight, and then turn it, and on the shorter side, we're gonna do two, six, and seven and a half, okay? And before you put your little scoring tool away, or you could use your bone folder. We're gonna do, on two of these, we're gonna do um, little diagonal score lines, okay? And by the way, I've already pre-recorded this for a clean recording, and they are on YouTube. I haven't made them public yet, but they will be public this afternoon in case you wanna come back and make this quicker without all my chit chat. Uh, mine, when I did this, were a little crooked, and it still was fine, but you can make a mark in these two segments right in the middle, just one inch. And then take your ruler and your scoring tool and do a diagonal score line up to that little score, that little mark that you made, that ha halfway mark, it's one inch because each side is two inches. All right, so that's gonna help us make that, um, you know, the 
pleat? What what is that called? That's not a pleat. I can't think of the word. The the bend in the milk carton. Goodness, I'm struggling today. All right, and we're gonna use our bone folder. Yeah, the hand lotions. That's a great idea, Tracy. When I was at Bath and Body Works and I saw their 30 different peppermint scented products, I had to refrain myself from not buying all of them because I knew I wouldn't use all of them, but there are a ton there. Okay, so I've burnished all of those. This one, we're gonna burnish, let's see, we're gonna make it go in, but this one, that skinny one at the top, we're gonna fold backwards, all right? Now get your scissors and just cut out this rectangle right here and then cut up your score lines. And that's all the cutting you have to do. You wanna use a really strong adhesive like Fast Fuse if you have any left or tear and tape. Your Tombow liquid glue would work well if you are good with liquid glue. Adhere that tab against the other side. And we're gonna fold these in. Wherever you have that seam right there where those sides went together, that's gonna to be our back side, okay? We want that to be the back. So the opposite side will be the front. And actually, I'm looking at this right now. Nope, that's not right. Yep, that is right. <laughs> I folded these in wrong. Right here, see the pleats need to be on the side or the diagonal score lines. I don't know why I keep calling them pleats. Those are the sides. We're gonna take that back one and flip it up Fold in those side tabs first. Then put adhesive on your back tab. I don't know, I'm saying all kinds of words today. I don't know if I'm making sense. And then put adhesive on your front tab. Whoops, fold it over. The reason why I always focus on that is because then you've got these nice, smooth, rounded, folded um, edges on all of your um, front edges, okay? All right, so now you're gonna just take this and squeeze and look how nicely those little score lines helped you to make that little uh, milk carton top. Now I'm gonna take my 1 8 inch handheld punch and believe it or not, it will punch through all those layers Woo! <laughs> of cardstock. Oh goodness. Now, this ribbon I told you I struggled to decide between Pool Party and Coastal Cabana. They are both a turquoisey blue and Pool Party is a subtle where Coastal Cabana is a bright. And I, am, I love Coastal Cabana. But then I realized that they, they really go well together, Pool Party and Coastal Cabana. So I'm kind of interchanging them a little bit here. This is actually Coastal Cabana ribbon. It is from the... Time for Tea Ribbon Duo. Comes in a two pack with another color. Um, and I really liked how it has that gold edge on it and how it's narrow so that um, it doesn't add too much bulk to our project. All right, now let's do our stamping, make our tag. I punched my circle ahead of time. Let me look and tell you it's two and a fourth, two and a fourth inches. Um, and it's pool party cardstock. And I'm gonna get this, um, it's kind of a background stamp that says ho, 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 and a whole bunch of lines, and it will not fit across, all the way across that circle. So I'm just going to piece it together like that. It's photopolymer, so it's quite easy to do that. All right, now I also cut out a scalloped circle using my layering circle framelits. And I'm gonna stick this two inch circle, nope, not two inch, what did I say? Two and a fourth inch circle onto the scallop with dimensionals. And now I'm gonna stamp the cute star of the show, this candy cane. Oh, goodness, hold on, I just got ink on my thumb. You know, guys, this stamp set comes with an outline of a candy cane, which is cute, um, but honestly, I don't think it's necessary, so I'm not gonna use it. Um, I actually did use it, and I will show you that card at the very end for my Stamp Club card this month. And here's the punch. And um, it it is cute, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. So if you have a hard time lining up stamps, you don't have to use it. 
All right, there we go. That was Lovely Lipstick Ink. I don't know if I said that. And then we're gonna stamp the bow in Lovely Lipstick. You know what? I'm gonna stamp that differently so I can punch that easier. Lovely Lipstick Ink on Lovely Lipstick cardstock. That's a mouthful. And then Call Me Clover for that holly. Thanks for sharing, you guys. I appreciate it. I see all of you telling me that you've shared, and I do greatly appreciate that. All right, so the bow is on the punch right here. Yay, makes it easy. It makes up for the fact that now I'm gonna tell you, you have to fussy cut this. <laughs> you know I'm not gonna make anything where we don't fussy cut. Let me grab my little scissors. Cut off your excess cardstock, get it out of the way, and then just leave a little cloud around the outside of your image. The eye will only see the image of the stamp and not any um, mis miscuts that you might do if your cuts are not smooth. All right, one more we need to stamp. Let's bring back that white paper, the For You in Lovely Lipstick. And it's tiny, tiny. We're gonna cut it out with a half inch circle. Right there. Now we're ready to put it all together with many dimensionals and glue dots. I'm just gonna put that holly right there with a glue dot. And then I'm gonna get a mini dimensional, of course. Hi, Michelle. Put that right there. I'm trying to focus and not look at y'all's comments. I'm looking every now and then. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. All right, little mini dimensional. There we go for that. Oh, it's so cute. And two mini dimensionals on our candy cane. I'm expecting UPS any minute, and you guys know what happens when UPS arrives. The guard dogs lose their minds. One in particular, his name is Charlie. I don't know about you guys, but I have done a ton, probably 90% of my Christmas shopping online this year. And whatever the delivery services, two dimensionals right there, that's it. Whatever the delivery services are doing this year, it's causing me to have like 10 deliveries a day at the door. I don't know, is that happening to you guys? Even though it's all the same carrier, they're coming multiple times and it's driving my dogs crazy. <laughs> Anyways, here you go, you guys. What do you think about that? I think this may be one of my favorite projects I've done in a long time. So cute. And it doesn't have to be K-Cups. It can be candy cane. I mean, yeah, candy cane uh, Hershey Kisses. It could be anything, really. Any kind of good candy would fit in there. Oh, thanks for the hearts. You guys are so sweet. All right, good. Project one is done. Now let me clean off my space and grab my next tray for project number two. Now project number two is a little box. And inside the little box is, you know what, let me, look, is who's, who was it the other day? Trish, are you here? She, I was making her nervous with my ink pads. Put them way over there. Inside the little box is a candle from Bath and Body Works, Twisted Peppermint. And see those cute colors? That's what inspired me to make all of these projects this week with this color combination. Now, one thing I will tell you about this box is it's, um, I made it so that it's extra sturdy. It has extra layers of cardstock because the candle is quite heavy and you don't wanna drop your candle on the floor before the recipient even gets it. Now, when you buy it, it's gonna come in this box and the one that I got at first just fell right out of the box, but this one seems to be in there much better. Um, and if you wanted to keep it, cause that's kind of cute, you could just always make a little tag for it. But you know me, no way, we're making a box. All right, now let's see what, we're gonna start with a box. And you guys, when I made the other recording, I completely forgot to stamp on this paper before I assembled it. Let's see, where is that stamp? I'm gonna put it right here. Hopefully, hopefully I will remember to do that before I put the box together this time. All right, so we're gonna start with pool party cardstock. It is eight and a half by nine and three fourths. 
We're going to score the long side at one and three fourths, three and a half, five and a half, seven and a fourth, and nine and a fourth. I can't read my measurements. The tape is too far away. Remember, you guys, it's right here on this paper, okay? I'm going to have to put it up a little higher so I can see. All right, now turn it and score the short side at one and a half, three and a fourth, five and a fourth, and seven. That's quite a few measurements, quite a few. All right, now I'm going to show you this. This is what we're going to cut it down to. And if you go back and watch the clean recording, I'll, I leave it there for you for just a minute so you can kind of look at it if you need to stop the video so later on in replay so you can kind of see how you cut your paper. When I'm making something like this, I'll make one um, and like that and leave it out to help me remember what I need to do. Um, visually, you look for this skinny tab here and that's how you're gonna know where to go, go from once we start cutting because it does look kind of all the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the three corners and the three squares on the corners and they look like something from Tetris. If you played Tetris, let me see. Oh, that didn't cut that very straight. All right, so there we go. That's what it looks like. And I kept that one intact, but this time I'm just gonna cut straight across to make it easier. I kept it intact so you could kind of get a visual for what I'm doing. Now, down here we're going to do the same thing, it's that same Tetris shape, but we're also taking off these skinny little tabs right here too. This box will have um, sides that fold over to kind of create a double wall layer so that, again, our box is um, sturdier than normal boxes that I normally make because that candle is quite heavy. All right, so you've cut all your little Tetris pieces. Oh, did you guys hear it? <laughs> it was thunder <laughs> and Charlie. Okay, so now let's look at our piece. The next thing we're gonna do is cut up right here. Cut up right here. Here's the skinny tab, by the way. Now it's on the end and like that, okay? All right, so there it is for one more second if you wanna look at it. All right, now I'm not gonna forget the stamp. Get these super cute heart-shaped little baby candy canes and we're gonna stamp, and I'm only gonna stamp on the um, squares that you're gonna see because there's no need to do the ones that are gonna fold over. And once you make the box, you'll realize what I'm talking about. All right, let's move that. And now we're gonna put it together. Oh no, you know what? This is very important with this one. Get your bone folder on this one and really, really burnish those lines because these um, squares fold over the sides and we need them to be nice and crisp. And you could cut those off with your, your trimmer, your Stampin' Trimmer to make sure you get those nice and even cuts on your sides because I find that mine are never quite straight when I do it with my scissors. So your trimmer would be helpful in that situation. All right, now we're just gonna take these sides right here. Here's that skinny tab, by the way. And we're gonna fold them over like that. All right, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of adhesive. Use your good adhesive. Don't use your snail or your candle will fall to the floor. All right, now, I'm gonna take adhesive. Don't fail me now, Fast Fuse. There we go. Put it on that one, I'm gonna fold it over. See what I'm doing? It's going all the way over. So really, it's like three layers here. And that's gonna be nice and sturdy. And it's also gonna give you that nice, clean, rounded edge on your box, on all three sides. All right, and then that can go, oh, come on. You know what, if you have that trouble, cut off these corners right here. It's gonna make it much easier. Let's put that candle in there. See how nice that fits? Ta-da, very nice. 
Now, I was thinking that these would be great for the secretaries at school. Um, you know, something non-candy related. I know when I was teaching school, we got lots of sugar, which is nice. <laughs> but sometimes you're like, please, I can't eat any more sugar. I don't need any more sugar. Notice the ribbon I'm using is not lovely lipstick. Some of you may be gasping out there. This is Poppy Parade Mini Striped Ribbon, and I think it goes just fine because it has those white stripes mixed in there with it. So it kind of makes the red a little bit, um, you know, pinkier. Pinkier, that's a word, by the way. <laughs> All right, so now the pieces I've already done. This awesome circle is this circle from the Stitched Label Framelits in the annual catalog. And let's clean our candy canes because we're going to stamp it in the middle. Simply Chamois, in case you're wondering, one of the best tools that you can buy for only $8. All right, right in the middle of that adorable little stitched label. And then I have a, let me look at my notes, make sure I tell you the right thing, one and three fourths inch circle, and it is petal pink. No, is that right? Yeah, I guess it is petal pink, petal pink. See how you can just see it through the stitching? And then this is a scalloped circle. That is, let's see, right at two inches that I cut with my layering circles. Hi, everybody who's joining. Hi, Alessandra, thank you. All right, there we go with a dimensional. Last thing we're gonna do is take that punch, that 1 8 inch handheld punch we used on the last project and make a little hole there. I'm making a collection of little Christmas treats now, you guys, since we've been doing Facebook Friday. I end up having three of each one, and so I'm putting them all in a little box. And my teenager last year took them all to school and gave them to her friends. She was so excited. So we'll see which ones she wants this year. I don't know. She likes candles, although I won't let her have a candle in her room. She'd, she probably would like to give these little candles to her friends. Candy's always a winner but things that are not candy are fun too. All right, last thing we need to do, I almost forgot, is that Be Jolly. It's a tiny little stamp, and we're gonna stamp it. Let's see, do I have enough? Nope, I did that the other day too. All right, stamp it right here just on a scrap of Whisper White in Pool Party. My teenager turned 16 on Sunday. You guys, I'm not old enough to have a 16 year old. You know, I'm just saying, I don't know how it's possible. And she was just a teeny tiny baby in diapers yesterday and suddenly she's 16 and I wanna cry. I um, had, there's this company called Card Your Yard and they put these big signs in your yard and they came this afternoon and put happy 16th birthday out there. I can't wait for her to get home. It's gonna be so cute. All right, be jolly, mini dimensional, snipped it with my scissors, that's it. So easy. And I cannot remember, these candles were, somebody tell me, they were like $2 each maybe? You know, Bath and Body Works, their stuff's on sale constantly. There's coupons constantly. So affordable gifts. And I remembered to stamp on the box. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's cute. All right. Wow, we got through two projects really quickly today. We've got one more coming. Let me clean up my space so I'll be nice and organized. And the next one is the easiest one. All right, let's see. Do I need this stamp for the next one? Nope. Oh, the next one is exciting because it's a technique. And I don't know if my friend Janelle is watching. She, I think she usually watches on the replay. She read my mind this week and messaged me about reverse stamping. And I said, you're not gonna believe this, but I have a project planned for, not reverse stamping, mirror stamping. And we chatted, she told me something else about it that I had forgotten about. We had seen it on stage. And I'm gonna show you how to mirror stamp that J, that candy cane. See, when you stamp it, it's not the right way. But I'm gonna show you how to stamp it so that it is the right way and you can use your punch. 
It's so amazing. But before we do that, this is a pizza box. Would you like to see what's inside? A mini pizza box. One more. This, my teenager, loves these. Um, Icebreaker mints, candy cane edition. And she is like constantly wanting gum and mints. I guess she's worried about the boys or something. I don't know. But she's always asking me to buy her gum, buy her mints. And if I have any anywhere in my purse, in my car, they disappear as soon as she sees them. So I know. Oh, goodness. Guess who's here? Go bark in the backyard. UPS is here. Go. And it's my pre-order. I'm so excited from the occasions catalog. Okay, so while the dogs go crazy. Oh, goodness. Go on. Go, go, go. Go outside. I have this little thing, you guys. And if you have a dog that barks, it's this thing. And I think I saw it on Facebook. Maybe I got it on Amazon. And it makes a noise. It hurts their ears. As you can see it doesn't work very well it works kind of one of my dogs stops barking and the other doesn't okay so I'm gonna move on while they're barking because he's leaving now many pizza boxes <laughs> I know joy hello Charlie he's got to make himself known um, many pizza boxes they come in eight in the eight in a package and they look like this when you get them and you can um, color them which is what we're gonna do I'm gonna get another piece of grid paper that I can just pull up and we're done because it is quite messy. And when I made this the other day for the first time, I was covered in ink. So I'm going to show you how to not get covered in ink. You can um, color this with a spritzer with alcohol and ink refill, which I have done before and it's very easy. Um, this time I'm going to use one of our sponge brayers. And I'm going to use Lovely Lipstick. And what I'm going to do so that my fingers don't get terribly inky is I'm going to put my fingers right here. See down here, I'm going to hold this and I am not going to touch it until I get down to that very bottom part, okay? It was really funny. I kind of did it on a whim and wasn't really thinking. I was trying to do it fast. And when I was done, I was hoping to film the clean video and I was covered in Lovely Lipstick ink. That poor UPS man, he is working and it is pouring down rain. He has been to my house numerous times this week. Like I said, delivering all of my Christmas presents. I know he's not the only one. We, we have had the weirdest bunch of deliveries. Do you guys see how I'm doing this? I'm not going just back and forth and back and forth. I'm picking it up and rolling it. That way you're gonna get full coverage of ink on your roller. We have had so many deliveries this week from a U-Haul truck, from a regular like person in a car. The mail people are delivering from their regular vehicles. I guess that's how they've hired probably, you know, seasonal employees and there's just not enough vehicles to because you know that the the online shopping is just every year is going to get bigger and bigger and for them to keep up with it they're gonna have to just <laughs> hire a ton of people but it's so odd I'll see like a U-Haul truck pull up and uh, out comes a guy and he brings me a package can you show your order I'm so excited Debbie um yes I could um, I ordered and I ordered in several several um, layers if you will um, by the way I need to focus on what I'm doing telling you this right here is going to be covered by paper. What you're going to really be able to see are these four sides and the bottom, which you really wouldn't see anyway. So at this point, I'm just going to focus on getting these sides. And this one's going to be folded in. So really, we can keep our finger right there and not get real inky. Um, so my pre-order, for those of you that don't know, we have a new catalog coming out January 3rd. And if you're a demonstrator, you can order from that catalog early. It's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. All right, we're going to set this aside to dry for a few minutes, okay? Look at my fingers. I didn't do very good because I was talking. Um, one of the perks of being a demonstrator is you can order early. So I have ordered a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Um, but yes, maybe... I might, okay? We'll see, we'll see. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do for this mirror stamping is I'm gonna use a Stamparatus. Let's clean this stamp so I don't get more ink everywhere. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, we need to add in this little foam pad that comes with your Stamparatus. Let me show you all the layers. Right here, this is the foam pad. Put that down, that's for your photopolymer. This is a silicone sheet. Um, it is used for lots of different things, adhesive, things peel off of it. Um, I used it the other day, what did I use it for? Um, shimmer paint. But we're gonna stamp directly onto it. Let's see, we're gonna stamp directly onto it because it's that silicone, that ink's just gonna kind of remain there, but it's not gonna dry, all right? So, let's see, let me put this. Oh, Lisa, you too, huh? Yes, I need to, you know what, I usually give my UPS guy a gift and my um, mail lady, but there have been so many different people this week, I need to put, like I've seen on online, a basket out there. Oops, I don't need that yet. A basket out there for them of just snacks and water and stuff. I think that's a great idea. Okay, I put the paper there. You don't need the paper. Not yet. Take your lovely lipstick and ink up your candy cane. And I'm actually going to do it twice just to make sure. And you know what? I'm seeing right now the remains of yesterday's candy cane. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to do this. Hold on, because that's gonna stamp. I did not clean my silicone sheet, you guys. All right, let's flip it over, clean it, and start over. That's gonna be a problem because we're gonna lay our paper on that, and any ink that's on there, your paper is gonna pick up. All right, so once and twice, okay? Now, take that piece of paper, and lay it right there. Rub it real good, don't move it. Take your magnet and set it down, and once again, stamp it. I didn't re-ink my stamp, you don't need to. We're just doing this one so that we know where to punch it, because when we flip it over, that candy cane is stamped on both sides, and we're gonna be able to use this side as the J. Isn't that brilliant? I love this technique. All right, so let's look at our punch. It's gonna go this way, right here. And see if I can get it lined up. And let's flip it over and there's our J. Isn't that fun? I also saw someone do this with the reindeer and it worked perfectly, so you gotta think about your stamps now, what you could do like that to make them go the other way. Um, one thing I have noticed, and I don't know if it's my ink pad or just the fact that this is a solid image, in some places it's a little bit blotchy. So what I did is I'm taking my Wink of Stella and smoothing that ink there because I wanted it shimmery anyway. If you don't want it shimmery, you could take your blender pen and do the same thing. Just kind of smooth it all out. All right, be careful with your Wink of Stella because it does pick up that color and you don't want that color, you don't want a bleeding candy cane. You don't want the colors to bleed in to the white. Now the O and the Y are cut with our large letter framelits, which are so fun if you have them. They are a splurge. They are a higher priced item, and they're a great thing to ask Santa for. They're also a great thing to use a half priced hostess reward on, or your hostess rewards. Not They're not called host rewards anymore, they're Stampin' Rewards. When you host a workshop or your order's over $150, you start to earn those. This is just the little snowflake um, stamp and I did it in lovely lipstick. So look, you, this is the first time I've used the Big Shot today. Usually it's back and forth, back and forth. All right, we're gonna do the O and Y. Let's cut it out and do this. I'm gonna pop these out and to keep with the shimmery look of our candy cane. I am going to take 
my wink of Stella and add some color to those little snowflakes on here just to kind of keep it all glitzy. Oh, there weren't very many over here. The way I cut it out, we'll add some little glitter in there anyway. All right, now let's layer it. I'm gonna show you, I have done most of this ahead of time. This is the largest um, scalloped square, Whisper White, using the layering square framelits. And I am putting a two and three fourths by two and three fourths piece of Pool Party Designer Series paper. That is from the Suttles paper stack. I have cut a banner from the Bunch of Banners. Let me make sure I'm saying the name right. I always call it the wrong thing. Bunch of Banners. Yes, Bunch of Banners. All right, there we go. We're gonna put that in the middle. And now we're gonna layer our letters with many dimensionals. I'm gonna do the O first so that it is centered. Right there, and let's see, we're gonna need to do these. You know what's funny is I start to think, is this the right J or is this the right J? <laughs> I start to forget when I look at that candy cane for too long, I cannot remember which way the, the J goes. My friend Jill, I made her a notebook one time and I actually cut the you know the letters and I put the J on backwards I don't know what's wrong with me all right one more thing we're gonna stamp on here the little sentiment that says tis the sweet season and I'm just gonna do it straight across whisper white use your trimmer to cut this don't do it like I'm doing so I don't have my trimmer here oh it's crooked okay well we're going with it because this is probably going to go to a teenager anyway. And they won't care. All right, so then an angle, just like we did over there a minute ago. And two more mini dimensionals. And then we will put our pizza box together for our, our little mint, our candy cane mints. Isn't that so adorable? So cute. Is Belinda still watching? She says I say that a lot. All right, hopefully I don't get ink all over the place. We're gonna burnish all these lines on our pizza box and we're gonna fold it all in. I really love these pizza boxes because they're easy. If you were gonna make a bunch of these, it would be easier probably to assemble um, pizza boxes than to make a whole bunch of the candle boxes. Unless you like doing that. I know some people really like doing that. I don't know, is Denise on here? Denise assembled 80 pizza boxes for me for my retreat. And uh, I don't know if she was ever gonna speak to me again after that. It was quite a bit. Now, once it's together, you can take your brayer and kind of see where, when you fold the line sometimes, it kind of cracks you know, the paper cracks and exposes places that the brayer couldn't get to. So you can just kind of, whoa, add that to it. I'm gonna take this time, I'm gonna use the right color ribbon. We're gonna use the lovely lipstick grow grain ribbon. And we're gonna tie a bow right here. You guys are quiet. Oh, Debbie, good. I'm telling you, now you've got to order this because I have given you six projects this week. Six projects, and I'm going to show you one more when I'm done with this. I've given you lots and lots of ways to use this awesome stamp set, and you got to get it before it sells out um, because now that they've announced the things that won't be carrying over into the new catalog, we have to snag them. Sometimes they run out. Some of it has already run out. All right, dimensionals and done. So cute, I said it again. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? Here's all three. I have to admit that my original project was a box that I designed and did kind of like the candle box. And then I realized the pizza box was the same size and it would be much easier to do the pizza box. So, voila. 
Oh, thanks. Adorbs. Thanks, Joy. All right, don't go. I'm going to lay out all my candy cane projects. Let's look at all of them and let's ooh and ah at how cute the candy cane season is. Okay, we've got those. And then where are my cake pops? By the way, we ate, my daughter and I split the third cake pop and it was very good. And then I showed you the hand sanitizer, remember? Teenagers are going to like that too. And then there was one more. What was it? Oh, yes. That one. That recipe is on my blog, you guys. Tuesday's post. There's a link to it. And it's not hard. Super easy. Look at that. Now, I have a project that I'm going to show you. If you are a member of my Stamp Club to Go and you want to be surprised, you need to close your eyes, okay? Because I'm going to show you their card this month. And it looks like that. Doesn't it look similar? Hmm, wonder where I got the idea. <laughs> and that's their card. Isn't it cute? I know, I love it. These colors are awesome. Lovely lipstick with either Pool Party or Coastal Cabana. And I will tell you this one, I actually did Coastal Cabana on the bottom and Pool Party on the top. And throwing in some green, that Call Me Clover, I think worked beautifully. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, go get the PDF. It should be up right now. And if you order before Monday at midnight, use that host code and I'm gonna send you today's three projects, these three. I'm gonna send those make and takes to you next week in the mail, okay? You guys let me know if you have questions. I'll scroll through. I gotta go grab my daughter from school. It's pouring down rain. She can't walk home or ride her bike today. Uh, but I will scroll through when I get back and I will answer any questions that I miss. There's Janelle, I see you. Okay, good, I'm glad you were watching. I didn't see you when I was making that project. All right, you guys, have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.